Addiction causes people to act extremely selfish, and it's normal to wonder why they just don't stop when they're clearly causing damage to their lives and the lives of the ones around them. The reality is that they've lost the power of choice, and they have no control over their using. Most addicts would stop if they had the ability to, but addiction is far beyond a point of mere willpower. Addiction is a disease of the mind and body that involves an intense mental obsession and physical craving. Those who suffer from addiction have something similar to an allergic reaction to drugs or alcohol in the sense that they react to these substances differently than most people. The difference between addiction and other allergies is that if someone was allergic to strawberries or peanuts, their mind can logically tell them not to eat these foods because of the negative consequences they'll endure. When it comes to addiction, the frontal lobe of the brain that's responsible for this rational thinking is completely different and makes the addict continue using even when they experience these negative consequences. Even when they know that their using has caused them problems in their relationships, at work, and is affecting their health, their mind will continue to justify and rationalize their drug use. There are different ways that a person can become addicted, and they're based on a variety of risk factors. When addiction runs in the family, everyone in that bloodline is susceptible to addiction, just the same as they would be if their family has a history of heart disease or cancer. Others can become addicted after they've been abusing a substance for long periods of time. The longer someone uses any substance, their body and mind becomes dependent on it, and their body's homeostasis will change and begin to experience craving. No matter how someone becomes addicted, there is hope for recovery from this disease. If your loved one is struggling with addiction, call our helpline today.